Hi everyone, welcome to another WordPress Wednesday. My name is Corey Ashton here at Webtegrity. And today we're gonna to continue our little mini series on CSS elements and basically how to use it inside of WordPress. Today, let's shrink down. Today, I wanna to walk you through the difference between, because sometimes this can get a little confusing, we wanna look at the difference between margin, border, padding, and content, and how they can all play around and affect each other in different ways. So very typically on your website, you want to be able to have a little bit of uh, space happening aesthetically to let your eye rest, right? When you learn that in art, we actually learn that you love white space or open spaces. Um, it, it just allows your eye to rest for a moment, your mind to rest for a moment, and then to move on and get intrigued by the next bit of content that you're finding. So it's always nice to have a little bit of breathing space. And the way you accomplish that using CSS is through um, different elements called margin and padding. And basically, they do the same thing. They add space. Where they differ is where they add that space to. All right? So here we go. I'm going to use, I think they just do it the best, w3schools.com. If you've never been on their website, check it out. But more than likely, if you've ever Googled, you've probably found them as a great resource. Um, this isn't necessarily specifically with WordPress, but their tutorial is pretty fantastic. So they're using this same image. That's where I got it from. Um, and and how this is how they explain it. They say the content. The content, of, the content of the box where the text and images actually appear. So this is this dotted da, 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 kind of space here. That's where your, your paragraph is going to sit, right? And maybe your picture is going to sit there. It's going to be really nice. And then the padding. This clears an area around the content. And the padding, of course, is always transparent. So that's this little space here. So if you were to add a border, uh, an actual uh, visible border or trim around a box of content, you can manipulate the border width, but you can also manipulate how far the distance between the border and the actual content uh, would sit. All right, so that's, that's kind of what this is describing here, the border, the padding, the content. And then the margin also clears an area outside the border. So the margin is also transparent. So there would be this border if you actually wanted one or you don't need one, either way. And then this margin kind of takes place to give you uh, spacing between uh, elements, all right? So um, this is kind of how it would look inside of your CSS. You would have a div tag or whatever element you want to be affecting, okay? And you would use uh, elements like this, width, padding, border, margin. Now your width would be how wide you want this entire uh, div class or bit of content to be. How wide do you want it to take up uh, this space on the page, right? And then your padding would be that breathing room between your content and your border. And then your border would obviously, if you want one, it doesn't have to be there, it's not mandatory, but if you wanted one, that would obviously be the visible border around everything, it's not transparent. And then your margin would be the area, again, between your border and maybe the next element on the page. So it's still a little confusing, so here, here you go. Check this out. Let's go over here for a second. Try it yourself. I'm gonna put the link to this little tutorial in the description box below so that y'all can go and play with this and try it out. Super cool, pretty fun to, to play with. So I'm gonna slide over here for a second, shrink down even a little bit more so I'm kind of out of the way. So I, I want you to see that this is the style sheet. This, this is your CSS element happening right here. And this is our kind of the results, what, what the end user would see on the front side of your website. So you've got a little bit of HTML mixed in here. You've got this style tag that actually references this being a little portion of a style sheet. And then you have your actual rest of your HTML in here, which is the body and the text. So we get to see that this is a div class, which actually initiates here, right? And so this inside of your style sheet affects this inside of your website. That makes sense because these correlate. This is a div class and that's a div class. So what we want to do here is check out, it says background color, light gray. This is the div for inside this content box. So it has a light gray background. If you wanted to affect it, you could take that out. And let's just say we want it to be uh, transparent. See results. Now it's transparent. We took out the gray. 
Or you can simply just erase the whole element, right? See results, same effect. But let's, let's play around now with the width. The width is 300, so this entire area is 300. Uh, and remember, we're looking at the content, which is this inside area here, is 300 pixels wide. So let's affect that. Let's change it to 400 pixels wide. See results. Check that out. Now my border did not change. It's still 25 pixels all the way around. But the width of my content changed, okay? Now let's look at padding. It has 25 pixels. When there's one setting like this, 25 pixels, CSS automatically applies it to every side of your item. So it applies it to the top, right, bottom, and left of, your, of, of whatever you're trying to affect. So 25 pixels top to the left, I'm sorry, to the right, to the bottom, and to the left, all right? So it applies it all the way around. If we wanted to see how that could be manipulated, let's take it down to just five pixels and look how tight we're gonna get in here. Ooh, scrunched up. That immediately kind of makes that a little bit more difficult to even read. But adding that breathing room in it um, allows your eyes to rest a little bit and, and immediately just looks cleaner, nicer. Now let's play around with that border. Let's say I don't like how huge that is. Let's actually take that number and take it down to five and see what that looks like. Now you can see how each one of these elements kind of play uh, and, and manipulate the spacing. Now the margin, this should actually be how far this is from the top of the page here, or if that would be a different paragraph or a different element, uh, you would see this kind of breathe. So let's just really affect it and kind of go exaggerated here and say 125 pixels. See results. Wow, why did it move it that way? Why did it move it off to the right? Remember, whenever you have one set of numbers here, it affects it top, right, bottom, and left all the way around. So let's say you only wanted to move it down on the top. Are there ways to do that? Absolutely. You can actually write dash top and tell it then only affect it on the top part. How cool is that? You also have the ability to manipulate padding and margin with um, in this way, in a, in a shorthand type property. So here you can do it with padding top, padding right, padding bottom, and it'll affect them differently. You want the top to have 25, the right to have 50, or you could write this because these numbers are the same for top and bottom and these numbers are the same for right and left. You could write them this way, padding 25 and then 50. And the PX of course stands for pixels, right? So 25, if you have two numbers sitting here, the first number affects the top and bottom. The second number affects the right and left. Or you can even write it out. Let's see if they have an example down here. Uh, let's see. Let me show you here then. I don't see that they have an example. Or you can write it out like this. 25 for the top, right? Then maybe we want 10 for the right. It goes in a, it goes in a clockwise. So it goes top, right, bottom, left. And so you can do four number settings. Uh, so the 25 is for the top, this is for the right, and I want maybe five pixels only on the bottom, and then we want really random so you can see the difference. Um, I want 45 pixels on the left side. Now we're affecting padding, right? And padding happens inside my content area. So I'm going to click see results and look at that wonkiness. Now I've got 25 on the top, I've got 10 over here on the right, I have five little bitty pixels on the bottom, and I've got this big gaping kind of indented look here, uh, pushing it on the left side 45 pixels in. How fun is that? Y'all can play around with all sorts of these different um, uh, features or, or elements here and, and play around with the numbers. Again, I'm going to put the link in the bottom so you can click around and play around and try to figure out visually. Sometimes it takes you actually tinkering yourself, right? Tinkering in there to figure it out yourself. And that's what I want to give you the opportunity to do. So when you click on this little uh, try it yourself, uh, it, it just takes you right over here. It has the original settings so you can get in here. You can't mess anything up. You can't break it. So I hope you have fun with that. We absolutely want to thank our newest sponsor uh, for our classes, uh, WP Engine. We have classes here for total beginners. Uh, we've even gone virtual, so you're able to take these classes 
over the internet. They're not canned videos just like this. We don't do that to you. It's a live interactive classroom setting with other students. You're able to raise your hand, ask questions, and, and uh, learn WordPress from total beginner to even advanced level. I'll put the link below so you can figure out more about our classes. Come be a part of things, especially if you're local in San Antonio. We'd love to see you in our meetup groups. We always have cool things going on there that are free. Free is always in the budget. I hope you have a great Wednesday. If you have any questions about your WordPress website, will you consider tweeting us? We would love to do a video just for you. I'll see you next WordPress Wednesday. Bye, y'all.